Hey guys, happy Friday! So earlier this week on Facebook, I posted about Francisco needing a partner for a competition on June 6th. That is called um, Raising the Bar, and it's at CrossFit Live Loud in Cleveland. They have a Facebook page you can look at for the details, um, and also you can go to their website for those. But if you're interested, um, please let myself or Ashley know so that we can get with Francisco and hopefully you all um, can compete together. Other than that, we'll have our June newsletter coming out next week. So that'll be filled with information about the opening um, as well as our uh, member spotlight and coaches spotlight. All right, um, and I think that's about it for announcements. So let's talk about today's workout. So today's workout is going to be um, five rounds and we're gonna work uh, we're gonna go through three movements, a minute each, and then we're gonna rest. And again, we'll do that for five rounds. So we're gonna start with one minute of um, plate hops or odd object hops, all right? So we haven't done these before. I'll go over them in just a minute. Um, you're gonna do a max as many reps as you can in that minute. Then after that minute's up, you're gonna move to minute two, and that's gonna be weighted sit-ups. All right, so for these, we're gonna have a weight um, in that goblet position or as high up on our chest as we can get that. Uh, and then we're gonna be doing our mat sit-ups for that, um, as many reps as we can. In the third minute, you are going to do Russian dumbbell swings or Russian odd object swings, all right? So Russian meaning that we're just coming parallel to the ground um, or chest height. We are not going to full extension over our head for those today. After you go through those three movements, you get a minute rest. During that minute rest, I want you to write down the total reps that you did for those three movements. Um, Best way to probably keep track of that is if you do, let's say, 30 hops, then you go into those weighted sit-ups and you just start counting from there. So 31, 32, 33, um, and then add on the Russian swings and you'll have one total for uh, each of the five rounds. Um, add those together, all right? So the score for today is gonna be total reps for the um, five rounds. All right, um, so for the warm up, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do three rounds. We're gonna do 30 seconds of active Samson stretch. We're gonna do 30 seconds of alternating bird dogs. And then we're gonna do 30 seconds of jumping jacks. So you'll do um, each of those, you'll go three rounds of that. And then you'll go straight into three more rounds of 30 seconds of lateral line hops, so side to side. Um, and then we're gonna do 30 seconds of a front plank. Um, that front plank can be with arms extended or you can put those, um, we can do those on our forearms, all right? Whichever you choose for those. And then you're gonna do 30 seconds of inchworms to a push up. All right, so let's go over the movements for that warm up that I described, and then we'll go over the movements for the workout. All right, so active Samson stretch, we've done this before. Um, active meaning, I want you to clasp those hands up over your head. I want you to drive those hands up to the ceiling, and then you are going to lunge back. And while I'm in this position, I am still driving those hands up. All right, and then I'm gonna alternate on that. So that's going to be our active Samson stretch. Now, um, then there are alternating bird dogs. So what that is, is you're going to be in the all four position, all right? So we're gonna be in this position and we are going to raise opposite arm with opposite leg. So just like this, we're gonna extend those out and then alternate. And that's gonna be for 30 seconds of those. Um, jumping jacks, regular jumping jacks. I wanna see that clap at the top, clap at the bottom. All right, for those. Uh, line hops, like I mentioned a minute ago, those are gonna be lateral. So we are just going to find a line and hop 
side to side, okay? Um, front plank, we already talked about that, either in that push-up position or you can go onto your forearms for those. And the inchworm to push-up is, we've done these a million times as well. We're gonna have those legs straight. I'm going to walk it out and push up and then walk it back up and stand back up. All right, so those are gonna be our movements today for that warm up. Let's talk about the plates, um, the plate hops or the odd object hops. So if you don't have a plate, I want you to pick an odd object that is fairly low to the ground. We don't want something really high today, all right? We're gonna start with, I tried to pick a plate that you guys can see. So we're gonna start with those feet on the outside of the odd object or the plate and you are going to hop on top of it. Each time that you hop on top counts as one rep, all right? So one, two, three, four, and so on. So pretty simple. This movement is intended to get your heart rate up, all right? So we wanna go fast through those. Um, and get as many in as we can. That's really where you're gonna be able to add up your reps today for your score, all right? So, weighted sit-ups. A um, Couple ways that we're gonna talk about this um, because these are fairly hard. It's a difficult movement if you have a lot of weight. Um, as I mentioned earlier, we wanna hold that weight high up on our chest, all right? Um, we can cross our arms over it to hold it there um, we can hold it like this um, so that our forearms are holding that weight. Um, so let's talk, let's show, I'll show you what that looks like. So they're going to be, aside from the weight, they're going to be those regular sit-ups that we've been doing. For these, if you are using weight, I recommend locking those feet underneath um, if you have dumbbells, you can plant them under that or something that you can plant your feet under to keep you grounded for these, all right? So I've got my weight, my dumbbell. I am going to hold it in this position to stabilize that. And you are just normally going to go back and then come up all the way at the top. All right, so that's what the weighted setup's going to be. That can be with an odd object, that can be with a dumbbell, um, any kind of weight that you can hold. Now, if you don't have a weight, that's okay. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do strict sit-ups for this. Um, what a strict sit-up means is that we're not extending those arms back and throwing them up like we typically do on ab mat sit-ups. What we're gonna do is we're either gonna cross our arms or we're gonna keep them down by our side for these, all right? so. I'm still gonna go back all the way, shoulders tucked, and I'm gonna come up. All right, so that was with the hands by my side. This time, I'm gonna do it with my hands here, and I'm gonna come all the way up, okay? So that's gonna be the weighted or the strict sit-ups for today. Um, and then the third movement is gonna be the Russian swings, or the odd object swings. Still gonna be to that chest height or parallel to the ground. Um, I'm gonna use that dumbbell that I use for those weighted sit-ups. So for that first rep, I'm gonna deadlift it up and then I'm going to sit those hips back and bring that weight up, all right? Notice I'm keeping that chest high and I am squatting when I reset at the bottom for my next rep, okay? So I'm not keeping those legs uh, straight. I am squatting at the bottom in a partial squat. All right, so not a real um, tough workout in terms of the movement, so not a lot of skill, skill level, but what it is gonna do is jack that heart rate up and you're gonna want that one minute rest between each round. Don't forget to write down your total reps for each round. Um, 
for your score today. Uh, I think that's it. Have fun, have a great weekend, and we'll see you soon.